Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for April 29th to May 6th. I am Charlene Lizette. All right, let's dive in. We've got a really interesting energy around you right now. When I was tuning into your, when I say we, Raven, <laughs> I was tuning into your energy before um, I was uh, getting into this reading and I heard you better work. Okay, I don't want to say that last word, but you know what I'm talking about. And I think what's, hap what's happening here is you are being called this week to do the hard work. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for interrupting your um, enjoyment here in the light. And I think with the eight of swords at the bottom here in the world, yeah, you better work. Okay. This is a week where you're going to really, really be required to focus on your own mental limitations. What does that, what does this mean? So this means unveiling and revealing the insecurities, the fears, the external judgment, the external perception, the judgments, um, the blockages, the blockages that you have um, around your ability to attract not only the abundance that you desire, but also for a lot of you, the love, the stability, the happiness, the fulfillment. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest with you, with the cards that you're having here, if there was a sudden change this week, um, because something goes on in your life where, mm, interesting, you're showing up too. Um, here you are, um, a Virgo where, um, yeah, you're going to have to, yeah, look at that. Whoa, that's crazy. Um, you're going to have a moment where something spontaneous is going to happen and it, it's going to be like sudden. It will be, um, what the heck, you know, like those moments where you're like, what, how, what, um, either a phone call, a message, a conversation, something is going to happen and it's going to propel you out of your comfort zone. And for a few of you, you're going to be like, whoa, I'm not ready. I'm not good enough. This is too much. Like, you know how we get into that, that story. Right. Um, and for, um, others of you, I think there's going to be like this, like, well, maybe if I don't do anything about it, it'll go away. But no, baby Virgos, this is a week, my Virgo works, what Raven, where you're going to have to just find your power and, and maybe you're going to have to make up that power internally, you know, like the make it till you, what, fake it till you make it, but not for any other reason other than the fact that universe is pushing you out of your comfort zone right now before you're ready. I have a feeling that some of you are like, when I have this, then I'll do this. When I'm here, then I'll be there. Well, first I have to do all these things. Then I'm going to be able to attract all these other things. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, and so... <laughs> these, um, th yes. Hi, how can I help you? This, um, this like desire to have it all figured out. No baby. It's not about tossing spaghetti to the wall. What it is about is being able to take risk and not being afraid. <gasps> Ma'am. <gasps> Ma'am. Say sorry to Virgo right now. You got to be spicy sometimes. Rude girl. Cause she, did you see what she does to me? She gets overstimulated because she wants my love. And then she reacts. Don't react to this week. That's the message. But also don't go into like, don't, I don't know what I'm doing, right? Get into this place where you're like, I feel confident. I trust myself. I believe in myself. I know what I'm capable of doing. We have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Okay. Then we have Uranus. I told you this is like very like disruptive, sudden change, chaotic. This is revolutionary. This is rebellionism. Um, this is the collective humanitarianism. This is something that's going to come into your life and you're just going to be like, what? <laughs> like that's the blue flame, spontaneous awaken, activation, integration time, right? So this is the spontaneous awakening, right? Like you may even want to rebel against these feelings that you have because Raven's acting very funny and she has not acted like this with, I think I've done five other readings and she's not acted like this at all. So it's like, you're almost like, no, I want to be reactive or like, I'm going to push this opportunity away or like, I don't want to listen or, you know, you know how we do that sometimes when we're coming from our place of wounding instead of being like, well, maybe I should listen and maybe this is an opportunity for, for growth. Maybe this is an opportunity for um, understanding how to position myself differently. I think that's what's happening here very much so because two of one's death. It's like source is saying, you got to get in your comfort zone. You, you have to. This is like a comfort. And you know you got the world ahead of you, but you're like, I don't know how. Death. Source is like, it's happening. I'm going to push you out of your comfort zone. This could be, I don't want to like say that something bad, but like this could look like 
you getting fired from your job because sources like you're done there. Um, you breaking up with a partner because sources saying you're done there. The universe like um, pushing you out of your comfort zone. So like forcing you to see the truth about somebody and their behavior. And then you're like, oh my God, I never saw that before them about them, right? Like it's like, it's uncomfortable, but it needs to happen. With the nine of pentacles and the king of wands, sources saying this needs to happen because it's time for you to get into your money, honey. Maybe it's a revelation around your money patterns, your money behaviors, or your limiting beliefs, um, your inability to step into a career that feels very fulfilling and aligned while also attracting money. It's like source is like really, really showing you that this is a wall and you got to go left when you're trying to go right. Do you get what I'm saying? Wait, left is this way. So you're trying to go this way and source is like, no, I'm going to put all the walls up so that you realize you're not supposed to go that way. You're supposed to go the other way because this is the way towards, um, you know, financial stability, creativity, abundance, charisma, new opportunities, uh, the right ability to attract what you desire with ease into your life. Knight of Swords, Two of Swords, even maybe some of you listening to this, you're like, oh, I hate this reading today. Charlene's doing this and I don't know why she's behaving like that. Why is she talking to Raven like that? Do you get what I'm saying? Like there's like all this projection. That's all your ego and your shadow coming up right now with that Knight of Swords, Two of Swords. The Knight of Swords is saying, move on quickly, rapid communication. The Two of Swords is like, I don't want to deal with any of this. And the Knight of Cups wrapping up your reading, which is go after your heart's desire. All this noise is just that noise. Go after your heart's desire. This spontaneous awakening, the spontaneous awakening is happening because it needs to happen. Maybe you haven't listened Right? I think I told you guys this before as I dive into your love reading. I'll tell you this. When I wasn't listening to my soul's purpose, source was like, I'm going to make sure you get fired from your job. And I'm going to make sure you can't get a job at all, no matter how much. Because that's how much you have to step into entrepreneurship and start your own business and, and show up on social media. And I was like, ha, ah, freaking out. And I was like, let me apply to every freaking place. And every single place said no. No, 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 no. And so instead of being like, oh my God, these people are rejecting me. It's, oh my God, what's, what am I not looking at here? What am I not seeing? Right? Because the minute I changed perspective and I was like, okay, maybe I am supposed to go into entrepreneurship and, you know, get on YouTube and show up on social media. Huh. Let me tell you how quickly the door started opening. As we dive into love here, we got the ace of wands attraction, the high priestess honeymoon this could be the one and the empress. Okay, so I'm really digging your love reading here. Your love reading is also reminding you that you deserve love, that it's okay for you to take risks, that you en should enjoy feeling bliss and ease and happiness in your partnerships. And that chances are when you tune into the highest expression of you, um, you know, when you step into that empress energy, the divine feminine or divine mask, if that's you, whatever, right? Like the highest expression of you, regardless of your sex, um, you will be able to attract with ease into your life. Okay. You have the passion, the vitality, the ability to call in what you desire. Even the Empress Amulet here, or Emperor Amulet showing up, this is discipline. This is structure. This is taking risks. Do you think emperors don't take risks? Emperors take risks, right? And that's what you're having to do this week. You're having to realize that in order for you to get the change that you want, you're going to have to make some big moves. Here is your monthly reading. If you want to work with me in any capacity, take my Money Magnet Workshop or any of my other courses that I'm offering right now, um, including the Soul Revolution for those of you that want to launch your own offering and use social media to help attract abundance into your life with ease. That's in the description box below. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.